awkward silence. Like, I'm sitting here waiting for you, and I turn, and you're doing nothing. I, I, I was I'm waiting. Up. I rewatched that uh -huh. part where you were like, and, and I'm like, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> That's kind of I hard. cracked the f*** up. Like, I was just like, I had to think about my fucking name. It's one of the greatest moments yeah, of this I show. I loved it. It's so I good. love going back and watching. Uh -huh. Speaking of football and then watching ESPN for the highlights, yeah. I like watching our show and, like, watching the, the shit you and I may or may not. Especially miss. because we're fucking funny, man. I love it. Like, we're great. And you know who we are? We are the Stash and Beard That's Show. Right, motherfuckers. I'm Austin Postolka. This is... Alan Billy. Fucking nailed it. <laughs> See? You were ready. You were right on top of it this time. <laughs> well done. Um, also, I love the, the finger guns at the end. We were able to... So I watched that part and I cracked up because I'm literally only sitting here finger pointing. <laughs> triggers is the fucking word I was looking for. Oh, when y'all are fucking your thumbs are triggers, yeah. which is fucking great because the trigger is underneath the gun. But who does this shit? <laughs> Can you do that? Can anybody do this? That's I'm getting this on camera. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But this is the way it should. I don't even know what the fuck this is. No, this is the hammer. The hammer goes in, you know? It's like oh, a revolver. okay. That's the gangster for your gun. I was yeah. like, where's the trigger? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. And if you want to be real, you go, trick, that's... Never uh, do uh, that. No, never do that. Just yeah. here. Yeah. It's the hammer's firing. You okay. Know? I always thought yeah. there was triggers. Really? That's why I was looking at it like, I'm just literally finger pointing. <laughs> I had no hammers. I had no triggers. <laughs> I had just fucked up learning how to put a gun together. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> You motherfuckers, you! Uh, like, that's what I look like. Like, y'all over here fucking, you know, gangstering it up. Here's Alan from the 1940s before <laughs> guns were invented. Ah! <laughs> Have at me! <laughs> yeah. Like, I, like, legit fucked my gun up. <laughs> Brings back, like, Forrest Gump when that motherfucker puts his gun together in, like, record uh -huh. speed, and yep. I'm just over here, like, I lost some pieces. Uh, uh, man. Boss, all I have is the bullet. Like, you know, <laughs> I just throw my bullet at you. Yeah. Yeah, so, good time. Uh, let's talk about a big upcoming meet that's coming let's up. Let's talk in about it. Good segue. <laughs> you know, not all my segues are perfect. Hey, guns are blazing. Guns are blazing. Guns a, ju you're just saying guns no, are blazing. No, like we're talking about guns are blazing. We're going to be at this meet and guns are going to go ablaze. We're going to have a good fucking time. That's right. Fucking meat cannon. That's me. Oh, right oh, no. God. Oh, Edit that. my. <laughs> we're back with the old fans. Oh, no. <laughs> meat cannons? <laughs> Do we want to start this over? No. I would like to apologize from the beard oh part of the statue. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I know what the uh, Instagram is going to be. Meek. track after meat cannons. <laughs> oh about, my god. Talk about t-shirt ideas. Finger guns and meat cannons, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, so, perfect stormy. Twenty night. Oh, oh fuck. Coming up, a lot of <laughs> lot of people at the gym are going to be competing at uh, the Battle of the Storm. That's what it's called, right? No, it's not. Showdown at the Storm. Showdown at the Storm. Showdown at the Storm. It's at uh, Perfect Storm uh, Holly Hill. in Holly Hill, Florida. Tommy and Gary. Yeah. They <laughs> just, not you're on top of this. <laughs> <laughs> so you tell them, where, where, where the fuck is this thing going on? Who's in charge? Oh man! All right, so we got a huge meet coming up. Yeah, <laughs> May 29th, um, Perfect Storm 29th Hardcore and Gym up in Holly Hill. 28th and 29th and 30th. 30th. Yep. Yeah. So Memorial Day. Yes, it is Memorial anyway. Day weekend. Uh, showdown at the Storm. I think this is one, two. This is the fourth Showdown at the Storm. So, anyway, uh, May 29th and 30th, Tommy and Gary, uh, Perfect Storm Hardcore Gym up in Holly Hill. So we got nine. I think I wrote down nine of us. Yeah. 
Yep, nine of us that are competing. Yeah, so. and the the reason we love this meet because number one, we love Tommy. We yeah. love, love their gym and, and everything that they do for powerlifting here in Central Florida. But also um, the the other reason why we're really excited for it is because this meet has world class competitors. This is gonna be a huge, and not just talking up um, the two gyms, but you literally have everybody coming down. Mm -hmm. um, you've got Jersey coming down. Yep. Uh, Chris Delafave. Mm -hmm. You've got Connecticut coming down. You've got uh, it's Mike Skiba. Yep. Um, God, I want to say Derek Harshman's from Florida. I could be wrong on that. I don't know why I'm assuming that. Um, you've got motherfuckers coming up from Tampa that are that are big geared lifters. Um, trying to think of the other roster. Um, I don't know where Anthony's from. Ho I, I always butcher the dude's name. Ho Hobica, Hobaika. Hobaika. I know it? that one because I, I. Yep. Because right. I. I fucking yeah. Monster kid right there. <laughs> um, then you've got fucking Danny uh, coming out of uh, uh, Perfect Storm. Mm -hmm. You got Mike Esposito. You've got six of us out of this fucking gym. Yep. You know. So it, it turned into what was just like a little, you know, backyard Florida type meet mm -hmm. into this motherfucker is going to be huge. It really is. Um, on, and on both sides, you got the raw side on uh, Sunday and you got the geared side on Saturday. Yeah. So it, it's going to be a huge, huge, huge fucking meet. And, and it was the meet that last year um, was uh, Dan Bell's first geared yep. meet. Yep. Um, he totaled 20, 26 something. Yeah. And, and took, just, I think, a top 15 spot yeah. uh, for the w, WPO listing. And, and he was in just like <laughs> just briefs. Briefs. Yeah. Didn't, didn't didn't want to put the full thing on. Yeah. Um, but I say from the geared side, um, I just mentioned all their names. You've got another girl. Um, she's a 132er. Excuse me. That's gonna be there. F fucking. She's a monster. Um, she's got some fucking freakish total. I'm. I'm. Eleven. She's on. She's on Tiff's page. Uh, Brittany Bowles. With 10.51. I think that's her. Yeah. Then you have. She's got a 1051 total. Yep. Yeah, then you have Tiffany out of our gym. Yep. Um, trying to put up uh, another huge raw total. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, to capitalize on her Michigan meet. Yep. Uh, then we've got another girl out of here, Jen. She's looking to put up. Um, I think she's. Um, I know we're chasing 900, but mm -hmm. we're looking at 900 plus for this meet. And there's some records on the board there. Yeah. For her um, weight and also um, her age category. Yeah. Um, I say that. That always comes out wrong. She's super fucking young. Right. But um, but with, with powerlifting, there are so many different. Well, the thing, right? yeah, exactly. So I'm glad you said that. So when you get into powerlifting, it's not only age categories and weight categories, but then you have like submasters, and they start at I think 35 years, and they break down I think every four or five year increments. Right. Then you get to, I think the 50 plus starts getting into the masters categories, right. and then it's masters ones. Then you have M2s, M3s. Why do why why do they have so many? Like, so you're I guess to keep it fair. So you and Jody competing together, you know, mm -hmm. apparently, you know, the young bucks are stronger than the old, uh, the, the, the old bears and things like that. And so wrong out of this gym. Right. Yeah. Uh, you got, fucking, you know, uh, Mike Francis, mm -hmm. you know, who was, uh, fucking, God, stupid strong. Yeah. Uh, that fucking, he'll be 61 this year. Then you got Joe, you know, Joe right. is fucking 46 80. or 47 this year, you know, still putting, you know, records up Yeah. or not records, but PRs, yeah. you know, um, so you know you you put it together to where the 50 year olds yeah, go to 51. yeah yeah but you're just as strong as the young kids right so to keep it fair and be like oh well, i guess if i'm 50 i'll go lift against other 50 year olds and then there's motherfuckers that are like Fuck that i'm competing against you right yeah, like, yeah and i'm gonna take you out so yeah you know what i'm saying so it's it's to keep it fair and you know yeah. you're all it, you know like the same reason you have the teenage category supposedly the teenagers aren't supposed to be as strong as the 26 year olds right. which you know, outliers, it's fucking wrong. Sure. You have yeah. some teenagers that are just fucking monsters, like, yeah. holy cow. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. so on the raw side, those two girls out of our gym, and then CJ. Um, CJ's, this, CJ's looking to put up some big numbers here. This motherfucker, dude, he, we've taken, I think it's four meets in a row, uh, trying to put a thousand pound squat into a meet, and yeah. it's there. It's there. Um, raw. This is the yeah. raw. Yeah. Raw. Ah, so. Raw with knee wraps. With knee wraps. All right. And I, the reason I'm saying that is because there is the raw category where you're literally uh, wrist wraps and, uh, and, a, and a single and a belt. Uh -huh. And then when you get into the wrap category, you are no longer raw. You're raw with wraps, or right. I think they call it classic raw. It depends on your federation. Sure. Um, but in knee wraps, looking to put a thousand pound squat in the books. Yeah. Uh, and I strongly feel that this is the meat that it's going down. I so, mean, I, 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 see, I see him training with my own eyes. And I'm like, yeah. Look. 
But then I also see, you know, if I'm not in, I see his videos, and man, he is, he's putting in the work, and so yeah. I really hope that it that it falls for him. No, I I strongly feel that this well, is the meat that we're doing it. Yeah. So yeah. Um, if he stands to put that number in, uh, his bench is picked up, uh, his deadlift is fucking smoking. Yeah. Uh, we're looking for a huge total here. So and then we've got six of our geared guys. We got Jeff. Uh, this will be his first geared meet, and I think we're taking a look at him at the 198s. <clears throat> Uh, Sean, taking a look at him, I think, at the 220s. Me and Buddy are joking around. We don't know what the hell our body weights are doing. <laughs> um, and then we got Noah, and uh, we got Jody. Um, so the other reason this is so big for us, outside of six geared people, but the weight classes. Mm -hmm. So we've literally got somebody in almost every weight class, 198, 220, 242, right. 275, and 308. Yeah. So me and Buddy joking around, like, you know, he may drop... I don't think he's going to drop to 242. Yeah. Uh, I think he's going to stay a 275er because his weight is under 275. Mm -hmm. As of right now, I'm five pounds overweight, so mm -hmm. I would be a 308er. Right. So we're running, you know, trying to put somebody in each of the categories. So sure. I think one of the first times we've actually been able to do this. Yeah. You know, and everyone stands an amazing chance at um, qualifying, um, putting up big numbers, and going on to the bigger meets. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be great. It is going to be it's going to be fantastic, and you are going to be able to watch it uh, yeah. live on YouTube because I am going to be broadcasting yeah. it again this year um, with some upgraded equipment uh, thanks to Jody and Sin. Um, Sin is going to actually help me out. He's going to be my co-host this year. Oh, that'd be awesome! Um, so because last year I did a good job of filling time, but um, you know I, they were what ten hour days and yeah. you know talking to myself. For 10 hours and that was 10 hour days was that pre-covid or was that covid that was covid oh that was that covid was, because that was that like was, right in the middle of the that bullshit. was the first mm. yeah that, that first was the first meet. athletic competition that, um since covid happened yeah. and uh i, I remember because i was the host of the show yeah, mark was there as the yeah, announcer yeah yeah, yeah 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 and so um that was crazy and it was crazy trying to figure out how it was going to happen with a I, I mean there weren't really huge restrictions because we're in florida so it's not like you know, we weren't in California where they're like, ah, you, you, uh, uh, no, can't do this. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so that it, last year was a, a really great meet, and then so this year I'm I'm really excited, especially because you know with uh, with all the guys from the gym, it, there were quite a, there were a few people at the gym yeah. from the gym last year. Yeah, we have even more this year. We yeah. have a bigger turnout from our own gym. You know, we've always, you know. Um, partner gym with <clears throat> with Tommy's gym we always call ourselves extended family yeah between the two of us so a ton of people coming out of that gym but like I said I mean the the talent that's coming from other states into this meet yeah you know what I'm saying this is literally this was just a like I don't you know backyard meet you know sure it yeah. was just a Florida meet for 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 us to do yeah and it's turned into like holy fuck like this is this is a big thing coming yeah. down people show up yeah. and like so, for for a good reason, you know, yeah. they want to be I mean, pit against the best. Real quick, I mean, I, I mentioned most of the names. Yeah. Seth. Well, Seth on the raw side, which, yeah, but I mean, either way, still, get ready for that. That motherfucker put up a huge total in December, February, I can't remember when he did. Either way, it was fucking huge. Yeah. But on the geared side... <clears throat> And if I if I forget some of these people, like I apologize. Um, uh, Doug, I can I, I'm gonna butcher his <laughs> name. Um, Tom Krychek, he's he's well known. Yes. Uh, Lindsay Bramble, um, she's coming out of Perfect Storm. Yep. Uh, that's Danny's client, so that's gonna be you know a, a big geared lift. Um, I don't know why. I'm trying to think of some of these people. Yeah, there's Derek. Danny, uh, Andy Polk, yeah, um, he's from Tampa, Tampa St. Pete. Yeah, yeah so I mean, it's, it's it's a it's a stacked meet, yeah, and, and it's really one that will put that that pushes a lot of people, especially at this gym. Yeah, you know? no, it's gonna be like it's gonna be one of those ones like we always you want to go to a meet and you want to be on, you know what I'm saying? And we always say it, you know, the raw side does have some some leeway on. You know, like, oh, if I get out of position or, oh, if I get over here, I can save this. The geared side, man, 
like you got to make sure your fucking gear is on point. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying you could have fucking 12 great weeks of training, mm -hmm. get into the meat, your body weight dips down just a couple pounds or goes up a couple pounds, and your shirt fits wrong, and the yeah. fucking the the groove is wrong, and I mean just that that slight difference in the way your shirt got you know guides you down, like you you could be off and get fucked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, um, Joa from Perfect Storm yeah. on the uh, Travis. On the uh, the raw day, Andrew Geiler, strong so guy are, on both raw and gear. So how are you <clears throat> gonna handle this? Because what do you mean? you're competing, but you're also kind of a lot of people's coaches. So I have lucked out that on the raw side, mm -hmm. all I have is uh, Jen and CJ. So they're lifting on a completely different day. Mm -hmm. um, what we've done this time, on, now that we're all on a different day, um, everybody else competing on gear day already has their handlers. Okay. okay? So it, it's not, you know, like, don't get me wrong, but we're still going to be there for each other sure, type of thing, absolutely. the way we always are. But Sean will have a handler, Jeff will have a handler, Buddy, you know, we all have our people that will be taking care of them. Yeah. So you're not going to be without. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to be where I'm going to have to go hand off for you in a bench shirt and have to kneel down in full suit to get your depth and things like that. All that's going to be taken care of. Yeah. We've already addressed this, you know, um, going forward because we had a huge meet in December where a lot of us competed and, you know, um, we're, we're all there for each other. Right. And it's funny, you know, we're, we're used to it on, on Sundays. We're used to it on Wednesdays. We help each other. Other gyms aren't used to that. Yeah. You know, so when we get out there and it's, you're lifting, but I'm lifting. They're like, why are you out there for Austin? I was like, because I'm always there for Austin. You know, me and right. you are used to yeah, it on yeah. Sundays and Wednesdays. Yeah. And, you know, Buddy's there to hand off to me. He's there for side spots. We're just, that's just what we do as a crew. So right. we're used to it. Yeah. So it's not un, um, uh, un, unseen, like, um, that we're out there for sure. each other. It is to everyone else, all the other gyms. Yeah. You know, um, I, don't, I don't know how else to say it. Is that, and this is going to sound weird, is that detrimental to, to your day of lifting? I've never. How do you, I mean, how do, how do you want me to answer that? I can answer it like where I, from the selfish part of. Because like, don't like you want to be focused? You, you do, like, you yeah. do. But in this sport and in in this in this crew, and I'm not. We're not gonna. We're not gonna get all soap opera yet. Sure. But we're we take care of each other in here. Right. So of course I want to fucking see you do great. Right. I also want to see me do great. But at the same time, as soon as I'm done, knee wraps off, suit off. You're right behind me, right. and I'm right out there for you. Yeah, and that's that's what we have here. And I'm not saying other gyms don't have that, but sure. that's what we do here. Is it detrimental to me? It can be. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Because I'm thinking well, about I need the... to think about myself and go sit down. Right. I'm also I want to I want to make sure that you have the fucking meat of your life as well. So I want to be out there and make sure you're getting your calls and your handles and things like that. Because we talked about the last time CTX was supposed to show up and like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, bombs happen. Yeah, you know? they do. So... They do. They absolutely do. But am, you're asking me um, personally, am I ever going to sit there and be like, man, fuck it, you know? Um, cause ultimately here's the thing, man, we talked about like your, your two kids. And I think we hinged on this last week on the topics. Uh, I can't remember what it was, but like to go to Ohio to yeah. qualify for certain meets. Yeah. Is it great that I got there? Yeah. yeah. You know, like hoorah. Sure. Would it be fucking great if the other five motherfuckers also qualified Absolutely. and now even bigger showing Ohio? Yeah. Fucking way better than just me going. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. so to answer that, like. Like, is it detrimental? Like, yeah, it can be. Sure. But we we kind of train for that. Yeah. But you, I guess I train for that because I'm not. I don't want to miss what you're lifting. If that right. makes sense, you know I, what I'm saying. I think so. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so like, yeah, I'm there for myself. And mm -hmm. powerlifting is a is a solo. It is a solo sport. Like only Allen's going out to lift. Right. But it's like the lineman. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, you know, when we talk football. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what what doesn't happen mm -hmm. is they don't see the chads. They don't see the 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 rays. They don't see uh, the the side where you guys are 100% necessary to see me right. uh, excel in the sport. Yeah, I don't get in and out of that suit without you. Right. I don't get that bench handed off to me without you type yeah. of thing. So, you know what I'm saying? But y'all are the linemen. Right. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You're the offensive linemen yep. of powerlifting. You, yeah. you don't get the glory. Right. You know what I'm saying? And to me personally, I'm nothing without you guys, and that's me. Mm -hmm. uh, whoever else, say whatever you want to say. So. Um, is it detrimental to me because I'm out there handling you? It could be. Yeah. I could be fatigued when what I need to be doing is taking water and creatine and yeah. eating and sitting down and resting to go compete again. But f it, you know, yeah. if, it, if, it, if it means me out there to get your calls, to get a good touch or a good squat in, to see you succeed as well, f it, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
You know, there's gonna be other meats. That's how I personally feel about that shit. Yeah. So, and that's also, you're never gonna stop me. You're never gonna say, Alan, you need to go sit the fuck down. Right. All right, this is your meat as well. It's not, hey guys, I appreciate it. And then I'm gonna sneak away from my chair and come out there to fucking watch you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. So the selfish side of it, yeah, it's detrimental. But the unselfish side of it, I could give a fuck less. You know, yeah. if it means to go see you succeed and, and also go to Ohio. Right. And also see you go to Michigan or wherever the fuck these meats are gonna be at because these states don't wanna open up. Right, yeah, yeah. So anyway. There's your answer. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I like it. I like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just here to, you know, have you critically think about everything yeah, you know, that you do. I like that. Not so, uh, did, uh, speaking of critically thinking and meatheads, and, you know, we're actually pretty smart and, individuals. And meat cannons. Meat cannons, too. Let's not come back to that one. <laughs> did you see the skit with, uh, uh, fuck, Blake, basketball player? He's now for the. Griffin. Blake yeah, Blake Griffin, Griffin and uh, Jimmy Fallon. When no. he jokes around about um, when reporters come up to you after two hours of playing basketball and ask you questions. So Blake Griffin comes out and he's like, yeah, man, you know, he's like, it's not that we're dumb. He's like, Jesus, man, I just ran around for two hours. <laughs> now you want to ask me a question. And it led me to thinking about all the times in gyms, like when people want to come ask us something philosophical. Sure. Like, dude, I just got the f*** out of squatting. Yeah. I'm trying to get out of my gear and you're asking about the meaning of life. And I'm over <laughs> here like mouth breathing and, ooh, and I'm grunting like f***ing caveman. So anyway, he puts Jimmy Fallon through like a little 15 second workout yeah. and then proceeds to interview him and ask him serious questions nice. all the time or all the while making fun of how reporters are to him. Yeah. So we all perceive athletes to be f***ing stupid right? because you guys are asking us questions after we just got done. Blood flow's not even back yet. You right. Know? So yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. that kind of made me think of that when you Absolutely. said critical thinking. That's, I've, so. I've never thought of it that way. Yeah, I, dude, I really all, dude, never all the fucking time, man. Uh, dudes or girls would come up in LA Fitness and want to ask us questions as soon as you and I got done with the set. Yeah. And be like, hey, you know, like, what is this and this? I'm like, <sighs> and you're just breathing and one word, oh, no. like every breath. And you just, you, you sound like the dumbest fucking animal in the gym. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm really not this dumb. Like, just give me a second to catch right. my breath, you know? Yeah. So anyway, we'll have to pull this skit up. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll you see it, so. Absolutely. But yeah, big meet, May 29th and 30th. Austin's going to be uh, hosting it. That's right. Sin, co-host, huge meet. Check it out. We'll keep uh, eight and a half weeks to go, nine weeks. Yeah. We'll keep talking about it. Absolutely. We've got a lot of work left to do. A lot of work left to do. Yeah. And, and it's going to be a good weekend. And people want people want to show up for this one, so that means yeah. we've got a lot more to talk about. <laughs> yeah, we do. So it's going to be good. It's going to be awesome. All right, that's going to do it for this week. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. This is the Stash and Beard Show. You can find us uh, on YouTube, We're releasing Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And you can catch the podcast wherever podcast can be found please be sure to leave a five-star review apparently that helps a lot so i heard about that too the algorithm yeah that's what we're, we're playing the algorithm right now you know we're just a couple meat cannons <laughs> trying no. to do some algorithms no <laughs> smash the like button <laughs> get rid of this fucking episode <laughs> hold on wait 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 we got we got more plugs don't hit the button uh uh i'm awesome with storm you'll find me at radio guy austin on and i'm and he's <laughs> at Alan Pilly. There we go. Uh, and at actually average on TikTok. Uh, Lady Juice Beard Oil. Our sponsors. That's it hey. for this episode of the Stash Beard Show. Thanks, everybody. Later, motherfucker. Meat can. Oh.